Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. This time we are playing a game called The Witness. Uh, this is a first person atmospheric puzzle game uh, created by Jonathan Blow. Uh, you might recognize that name as the guy who created Braid, one of the original indie titles as far as I'm concerned. One of the indie titles that actually made indies cool. But anyway, this game, as soon as I launched it, it went directly into the game, so let's just let's just go ahead and give this a start. Uh, it started me in this in this tunnel. We're gonna have to go all the way to the end of it to see what's going on. Also, I heard that there's no music in this game, which is a little unfortunate, but at the same time, it will help immerse us into what we have going here. So I guess this is our first puzzle. And yeah, we just click and drag, and when we're done, we click the mouse. Okay. So, like I said, this is an atmospheric puzzle game, so... As far as I know, most of the gameplay is walking around and solving those puzzles. But the puzzles get more and more complex the further you go. But look, look at this. This is gorgeous. And there actually is some narration. Uh, there's some audio logs that I've heard about. Where those are at, I have no idea. But I would absolutely love to explore and see exactly what's going on, because this game did actually get some pretty positive reviews. What is this? I, I, it's, it's, it's broken. It's broken. We need to go find a different one. Is this one's broken too? Looks like it. You know what, maybe we can just go over here. Apparently, I have a sprint button. That's pretty nice. Alright, go... Can't not cross my own path there. So we'll just go to the end. I'm holding down the mouse button like it's something that I need to do, but that's probably not correct. Alright, what is this? There's three panels here that's blocking me from being able to do what I need to do. So I probably have to go unlock these. So I can follow these cords. Hey, I've got a shadow. Am I a woman or a man? I have a very feminine shadow. I don't know, maybe it's a man. I can't tell. It could be either. It's, it's a fairly androgynous shadow. Alright, what's what do we got here? We have a maze. Um... Let's see. It looks like this is gonna be our way through. Here we go, yeah. Ah, 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 I got stuck. <clears throat> Alright. It looks more like a ribbon than a cord, but... Step one completed. Right, there should be another one. It's up there. What a jerk, leading me around like that? Alright, I solved that one already. We're gonna come over here. There's a nice couch. Very nice couch. Apparently, I can just walk through it. Alright, another maze. There's only one starting point here, but there's two possible exit points. Uh, here we go. Top exit point. I need to stop holding the mouse button down. That's not something that I need to do. Alright, step two completed? Oh, there's a, there's a, a junction here. This one, this one's easier than the others. And I guess that powers up this one, which allows me to power up the other ones. These mazes are getting a little strange. So, uh, this one was fairly easy. It was a lot easier than the closed-in box one. Alright, I think we're missing one still. Yes, we are. Let's follow this. Oh, wait. It's up there. What? Didn't I already do this one? Oh, there's two exits. So I need to solve them both. No? Wait a minute, where am I? Oh, okay. I need to... I need to... I need to... Go around the first exit to get to the second exit, and it changes what it powers. That's very interesting. 
So we're gonna have some backtracking to do. Probably. Did that first one not do anything? So what happens if I come over here, solve this guy, and then go back and solve the other one? Because the other one goes up there. Yeah, it goes up that it goes up and out. So let's let's fix this to see what happens. If we solve it that way. Hopefully this other gate doesn't close as a result. Yep, it's fine because we're not going to have to worry about that anymore. And I don't think uh, did any of them have another exit? Did this one? No. There's there's no other ribbon coming out of it either. All right, we're going to come out here. This game looks great, by the way. In the shadows, the grass, the pastel colors, the exploration. It's so quiet, it's so serene. I wonder how a game like this gets such positive reviews. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a bad game, but puzzle games, other than something like Portal, tend to not get the best reviews in the world. You know what I mean? What is this? Get a nice little... Is that a cup of water? Wait, what? I can do this anywhere? Huh. I guess there is there is no real reason for me to come out here. Or come back up here. Was there? Let's go back around. Let's go all the way around. See what we can find. What do we have? On these parapets. Am I using that word correctly? Probably not. Oh, can I jump down there? I can't- I can't even jump. Alright. Oh. I guess I'm not allowed to fall. Yeah, not allowed to fall at all. I guess I have to go all the way back around. Alright. Guided experience. No big deal. Go check this other side. Maybe- maybe we'll find something interesting. Maybe not. But maybe. Oh, I see. It's just the top. We'll go back around. And we'll go in the direction that the game is probably trying to lead us. Ooh, what's this? What is this? I... It's, it's a window. I can't... I can't go in. I cannot go in. Dude. I want to go up there. I'm sure I'll end up there eventually, but I want to go up there. Okay, this is weird. What? Huh. Okay. Screw that thing. I don't know how to solve that. What is this? I, there's a there's a panel on the other side. Maybe it's a shortcut that I unlock later? That'd be cool. Yep, cannot jump down here. So yeah, it is a fairly guided experience. Look at that freaking water. It's delicious. So this is going to be a relatively chill playthrough. Especially compared to something like... Uh, Slime Rancher, where it's chaotic, but it's chaotic in its own way. What do we got here? Uh, why did that go red? So that went red because I need both of them, okay. So, I think I need to hit every switch. Yeah, here we go. Nope, that's not it. Let's see. Up, down... Go around, cannot cross that way. Here we go. Now we have two starter spots here. 
That's clearly not it. It's gonna be this. And finally, we... Nope. Alright, so... I don't think we start on here. Because there's no way to get both of these. I don't think we start here because there's no way to get both of these, so this is what we do. There we go. What did... Did I unlock something? I, I felt it. I didn't feel it, Jake, but I... It, it shook a little bit. It felt like... It, I keep saying feel, but it looked like it shook a little bit. Is this another one of those? Okay. Uh... Do I have to go between the black and white? Yes, I do. Okay. So I have to stay... I have to I have to counter every... Every black with a white. Hey, how did... How did that work? Okay, so... Okay, so the number of faces on this... One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure how that one worked. Okay, so I'm framing the whites, but I'm not framing the blacks. So if I do this, okay, as I thought, that does not work, but this should work right here. And I have a feeling this won't work. Oh, that did work. Okay. So... Huh. And if I remember right... This door back here... This door back here had... Both of those elements that we just learned about. So I need it. Shit, man. I need to hit... I need to hit every switch. Frame the whites? Go between the black and whites. Okay, you're not telling me why I'm wrong. Okay, so what do I do? Frame it. Frame it. Go between... And go between... No, that's... Wait. Go between... No? Still confused here, man. Still confused. It can't start here. It cannot start here. It could start here? So let's try this guy. Frame. Frame. Now this over here is what I'm confused about. Alright, so let's go back and... L <laughs> let's learn ourselves again. Or maybe we'll just skip that for now. Skip it all together. We can check out these solutions. What is it that these have in common? So I thought it was the number of faces that the lines cr are, are touching. So here, we have two and two. Here we have two and two. No, we have one, two, three, four. So this is two and four. So it's not the number of faces that the line is touching. But I am touching all the whites. But what is it about the whites and the blacks? How do they interact with each other? Let's try and solve this one again. Somehow differently. Wait a minute. I don't even remember how I solved it the first time. It was like this. 
So if I... I can't go between white and white. That's illegal. So I have to... I have to group them somehow? Or sep I have to separate them from the blacks. This is racist! This is so fucking racist! I have to separate them! This... <laughs> I can't believe that's... Okay. So with our newfound knowledge... With our newfound knowledge of the racism inherent in this game... We... Can... Figure this out. Let's see, we go around here. Um... Shit! I need to touch that. I need to touch the switch. So if I bring all of these guys inside... We come around... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a cotton picking minute. Wait, no, wait a, wait a cotton picking minute. Pick that cotton and then wait on it. And then we go around. Yeah! Segregation at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Segregation helped us open doors. Um. Oh. Not a very secure lock. What the frack is this? I can't. So is this a- is this a- this is a puzzle solution. So if we find a hex with, I guess, no clear... No clear solution, this is what we do. Quick, take a quick mental screenshot of that, it's done. I done it, I did it, I done it, I done did it. I- I done it. So hopefully we can find one of these honeycomb solutions somewhere. I'm afraid that by the time I remember it, I mean, by the time I find where this goes, or what that opens, I'll have forgotten it. Alright, do we go into the chasm? Or do we t check out... Is this It's like farming equipment or something. Somebody crashed. Somebody's not a very good driver of farm equipment. Alright, let's just go see what this ravine has in store for us. It's like this. Why does this remind me of Six Flags? I don't know if any of you have been to Six Flags over Texas, but this kind of reminds me of of like the Texas Giant for some reason. I mean, this is a little trippy. So, oh, it's 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 symmetrical. Yeah, I can't draw on these. They're they're pots. But it'd be cool if I could stack them. Different puzzle elements. So this is supposed to be like a modern day mist. Can I swim? Nope. This is supposed to be like a modern day mist. Unfortunately, I've never actually played through mist. I know what mist is. I've watched some people play a little bit of it, but I never really understood it, at least at the point that I uh, started watching it. But it's been a long time since I've even seen mist gameplay or anything like that. So is this another learn? Situation that we've got going here. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've played Mist. I mean, watched Mist or even heard much about Mist. Oh gosh. All right, let's do the right side because I feel like my brain handles that a little better. All right, we need to make sure both sides are able to get through. I like the patterns this is making. It looks pretty cool. Boop. Mwah. Mwah. They're just giving each other a little kiss before they uh, go on their way to do their jobs. Oh. What? Why is it hidden? Is there a reason why it's hidden behind these these brackets? I, I, probably not. Oh, okay, so I need to get both sets in. Eh. <laughs> this is confusing my mind. 
Wait. What? I wasn't done. I guess I was done. What is this? It's it's broken. So There's a ribbon here. If we can find where the ribbon goes or Oh, this is this is this is a little fucky. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm a little brain melted right now. The hell? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No? I didn't do it. That didn't do it. Oh wait, but this did something else too. No wait. I think did it do something? This is still off. So I think we have to find another ribbon. Okay, here's... here's... here's something. Okay, this washing machine is now turned on. Great! Oh, are you kidding me? Now I have to deal with, like, this... these opposite things? This is weird. Okay. Easy enough. I say as I just completely walk into a wall right there. There we go. And then did this... It opened up this side. Alright. I dig it. I see what your game is game. Alright. There's walls. Go... Uh, go... Around the wall. Nope, I'm stuck here. I need to backtrack a little bit. Then go all the way around. There we go. Oh, why is it melting? It's weird. Eh. Uh, here we, here we, here we, here we go. There we go. Oh, gross. I have to touch this? No. No! Gonna be walking away from this soon. I have a terrible Christopher Walken impression. All right, so maybe... Is that activated now? It does not look like it. We have something else to activate. So this came all the way here. Wait, back outside? Where's this where's this taking me? I see that ribbon all the way down there. Is that is that the ribbon? Alright, let's follow. Holy shit, let's follow this. It's gonna take us. It's gonna take us the distance. There's some doors up there, okay. Look at these fucking trees, they're so beautiful. There's a weird looking obelisk here. There's some ruins in the background too. This obelisk, it's so just... It's jet black. And I don't know if you hear that. But there's like some... Some like weird radio hum when I get near it. Oh, that's weird. In a game... In a game that's devoid of music, you can really hear the ambience. So... Alright, we need to capture all of these. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, we got this. Probably a few more of these doors to open. Down there? What's down there? We'll worry about that later. We probably have to open... This isn't... Is this activated? I can't go past this, but I probably don't need to. Wait a minute. What? No, I do need to go past it. Because I can't hit all the switches on the way. So I need to go... I need to take a little bit of a detour. There's two detours? Man, there's a lot to this game. There's a lot to this little island. It's like... Just when you think that you, you found a dead end, it just pulls you right back in. Alright, so we have another set here. So it's a combination of switches plus symmetry. Which... Wait, it's blue and black? Wait a minute. What are you doing to me? Here we go. No! That ain't it either! What? I can't cross because... Yeah, reasons. So it's... 
blue and black. Maybe I have to hit the blue ones and avoid the colored ones? No? So maybe I have to only hit the colored ones. No! That's not it either. Either either, neither neither. I already tried this one. What? What am I doing? Of course that was wrong. Um... So, if I... No, because then I'm stuck off of that one. And I'm stuck off of this back one. Am I missing something obvious here? You know, I hadn't tried that yet. Eh. Um... Alright. There we go. Come on. Oh, no. No! No, I accidentally stopped it too early. Uh, there we go. That was harder than it should have been. I mean, it really wasn't that hard. It's just... I just did it incorrectly. There we go. That one was easy. And this one... Might... Be deceptively difficult? Nope. That was fine. That was good. Perfect. 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 There's one up there, but there's also one down there. Uh, but it's n it's it's either not lit up, or it's not lighting any anything up. I think it's just not lit up. Yeah, so we're gonna have to follow a series of switches to get down there. So let's just keep going along this path, following this ribbon. Oh, seeing where it takes us. Uh, but actually, we're out of time. Holy shit, it's already been 25 minutes. And I think that's about the length of time where I'm going to stick each episode of this game. Because, according to developer interviews, it's it's between 25 to 30 hours? So, we're gonna have to do a little bit longer episodes for this series. But I hope you're enjoying this series. It's... it's... it's relaxing. And, and I know I played Portal, but like I said, that, that can be a relatively chaotic game. So I think, I think having a nice, relaxing, atmospheric game on my channel would be perfect. But anyway, let me know what you think of this series in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. And I uh, hope you're looking forward to the next episodes, and I will see you on the next episode.